we've already gotten information from the Hurricane Center that when the 10 a.m. bulletin goes out this morning, the forecast track will no longer be north of the sister islands, but they're going to bring the, the forecast track is going to shift further south and let, have the storm passing between the islands, between Grand Cayman and the sister islands. So the track is changing. Right now, what is not changing is um, the forecast intensity of the storm. We've been informed by the Hurricane Center that uh, there is uh, no in, nothing indicating any kind of rapid intensification. So we are expecting a fairly weakened tropical storm to pass across the Cayman area um, sometime tomorrow night. What does that mean for us? Obviously, we're talking about um, some strong winds and seas uh, upper, uh, up at over 40 miles per hour. So they are gale, uh, gale force winds. Um, across the island, which will, will result in very rough seas um, uh, starting from tomorrow afternoon. We expect the models to adjust um, it, the winds and seas and the rainfall totals uh, once all the data is collected in and what have you. And when we start to see a forecast release come out later on today, we will get more realistic numbers. Uh, but it seems to me right now that the numbers are always changing. So I think you need to pay very close attention um, uh, in terms of your surfing plans, your, your diving plans and what have you. You're gonna have to uh, block out the next uh, 24 to 48 hours, um, uh, maybe even 72 hours uh, with this system.